Hey guys, this is Resort TV again with another episode, another vlog. I'm Josh. Hey, I'm Jenna. And we're going to take you around the uh, Muppet Vision 3D area and some of the other areas that are rumored to be maybe torn down when the uh, Star Wars attractions start to come on. So we hope you enjoy. So like we said before, this is rumored to be torn down, but we're not exactly sure that that's what's going to happen. So we're hoping that it's not, but it may be torn down. We hope not. We really like Muppet. And of course the Pizza Planet place over here is a fun place to go eat. Not doesn't have a whole lot to do with Muppets, but it seems to fit in here just fine anyway. Maybe they'll move it over to Toy Story Land that they're making. Oh, I bet they will. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Yeah. We'll just walk around this way and make a lap here. The neat thing about this area is all the details that a lot of people don't even notice if you're hurrying through here or just trying to get a lot of the rides. May not even notice all the little details that make this really cool. There used to be an umbrella down here. Let's see if we can find it. It used to rain. Remember that? And there used to be, and stop for just a second and go around, there used to be a truck sitting right here from the Toy Story around in this area and it just said yo on the back of it just like the Toy Story Pizza Planet Trust. That's right. That was awesome. I thought maybe it was on top of the building but I don't think, no, it's not. So they've just taken it out. Alright. Let's come over here by the Christmas shop area. Remember the name of the shop? Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, it's a wonderful shop. Yeah. a lot of details like the fire hose and all those kind of things and even some of the windows I think maybe over in the other area we just passed have uh, have some different signs and different words on them over here up here this one I don't know if you can see it or not in the video but this one says Abe Mouskowitz Taylor is the on it. there it is right there Abe Mouskowitz and up above that it's pretty hard to see so Potter and Potter and Potter attorneys at law I wonder if they were hoping to get Harry Potter with all that. I, I wonder. <laughs> all right, we we'll keep going down here around the corner. This is the Muppet Shop, of course. And then again, wonderful shop. Hopefully they won't get rid of Mama Melons. Yeah, that's always popular. I was gonna say, this is the original snowman. You wanna build a snowman? He's a little bigger. There you go. Put it on the hashtag. Oh, look over here. We got Constantine. He's, he's wanted poster. What are we doing? Pretty cool. All right, let's come back over here. And back up to Mom and Mom and Melrose's. We've eaten here a couple times. It's pretty good. Italian food. And in the front of the Muppet store, which is really cool. They've got all this paint job gone bad up here where you've got paint dripped all over the building in certain places and a gigantic Kermit face right there. Looks like Muppet, or uh, not Muppet, Animal painted it. <laughs> yeah, he probably did. The multicolored water thing here. <laughs> Muppet, that way. <laughs> yeah. And he's still, still wanted. Oh, look, the hanging. Oh, cool. No. On the top of this is kind of like animal, sort of, yeah. I guess. They're almost like uh, Dr. Honeydew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Big, gigantic Kermit. Yeah, that was the biggest chance. Animal was here. See, you were right. See? Animal did paint it. Animal painted it. <laughs> At least that part. Yeah. And another gigantic Kermit. <laughs> we were just in the Muppet store, and technically it's not Muppet stuff in there. You can step in there real quick and look around, maybe, but 
says Muppet stuff and it's in there, but it's just further in. So let's go in for just a second and we'll look. So in here now is a lot of art, which is really nice. But the signs over here, they don't want you to look there. No, they don't. Or here either. Why are you looking? <laughs> because it's interesting, right? <laughs> Oh, she didn't, or he didn't say Simon Says, he or she. <laughs> and Thomas Kincaid paintings, which are really nice. Yeah, like, Hotel like, rooms uh, up here. One of the Muppet movies, I think. Right? One of the first ones, I think. Yeah. They all lived in the cheap hotel or something. Uh -huh. I can't remember. So anyway, and all the funny, all the funny signs behind the desk here telling you, please, please steal the linens because it's cheaper. <laughs> So on the side of the Muppet Vision 3D building, we've got just some fun sayings, Swedish chef saying there, and then over here, Rizzo the Rat, we got it for a price. <laughs> for the Pork Security and Company. I guess that's for Miss Piggy. And a little Target down there. So one of the things, that, like we said, we really enjoy all the little details. There's Gonzo hanging from the clock, which you might not even notice if you didn't look up. And then one of the best things is the Stadler and Waldorf. I think that pretty much speaks for itself. Yeah. <laughs> and we're back out here on the streets of America, which we got a little bit of blue sky. It's been rainy today, but looks nice behind there a little bit. And this may again rumored to be torn down as part of the Star Wars expansion, which makes sense because Star Wars is just to the right there. Because it might be the last time for the Osborne lights. So definitely, if you can, come this Christmas and check them out. For sure. And you can see already, here it is October 4th, and they've already got all the lights up, or at least most of them up on the buildings. The tree here, and the globe, and everything else. So. Here's one of our favorite shops. There you go. <laughs> I gotta say it right. You gotta say it like a New Yorker. Yeah. Or something. Nice. Or New Jersey. I'm not sure where they were I from, right? Be, I wanna be <laughs> New Yorker. And here's the big light canopy, I guess, is the word I was looking for. It's really cool. They've really added a lot to it. So it's sad that they have announced the Osborne lights aren't coming back, like, like she said. And so, you know, definitely wanna check that out, especially if you haven't seen it for a while because they have upgraded this. And by the way, if you didn't know, these building fronts here on the side are looking towards the San Francisco backdrop. Of course, it was New York City in the movie, but they were used in filming the movie Dick, Tr Dick Tracy, and they were uh, different colored at that point. But, yep, these were used in Dick Tracy. So, I don't know if you guys are fans of Once Upon a Time, but we are huge fans, and I don't know how long ago they put this up, but Mr. Gold's pawn shop is behind us. They have lots of little um, tidbits and, I don't know, different things from the movie, or the movie, TV show. <laughs> yeah, they, the window. they just put it up, oh, I think this summer sometime, but it's really cool. So we'll take a look at some of the artifacts in there as long as the reflection allows us to do that, so. Hopefully they will move this to a different location when they tear this down. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Yeah. A little reflection that you can see. I'll zoom in a little bit. Yeah, it's behind these wine glasses here. Can you get up above it there a little bit? There it is, right there. Maybe if I can get to the side a little bit more. You see it that way? Right there, yeah. There you go. Yeah, it's because you're in A lot of really cool artifacts from the movie, or from the TV show, I should say. You get a little reflection there. Magic wands. Oh yeah, there they are. What was that box called? That was where yeah. you put Pan, right? Pandora's box, yeah. What was that? Charming sword? I think so. Cool. Oh, and that, nope. and that very important sorcerer's hat there. There it is. Sorry about the reflection, it's just that time of day. 
remember as kids going into the uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids playset adventure was a lot of fun, and uh, that I think is definitely confirmed to be taken down in this next refurb to add Star Wars and Toy Story. Uh, it was a lot of fun, remember? Yes, we loved fun with the spiders when well, that was a cool thing. <laughs> the giant Cheerios and all that. So, we're going to walk in here at the Honey, I Shrunk the Kids playground and get a little bit of video of it. I'm sure there's lots of video out there, but like Jenna was just saying, she hasn't been in there for a while, and I know I haven't either. Super Soaker we were talking about. Because when we were kids, that was a big deal. I think they still have them. There's Auntie here. A part of the movie. He was a big part of it. Over here by the film. We got the light bright peg. And the film, which used to be Kodak, it isn't anymore. The film slide. Yeah. Tons of fun. So one of the things that hasn't been around too long that's going to be going, according to rumor, is the Lights, Motors, Action Extreme Stunt Show. Not sure that we saw it that many times, but it's all right. It's fun to see at least once. One of the things that's been going for a little while already is the backstage studio tour of the Catastrophe Canyon, but there's the spaceship from the Flight of the Navigator, which is really cool, and some of the other props you can see back there. And we're standing here in front of Guado's Grotto, which was here for Star Wars weekends, but they've kept it open, so we'll go check that out real quick, along with the, I believe that's an A-Wing fighter I said before. So it's a lot less busy than it was during the Star Wars weekends, for sure. <laughs> the Furby Chewbacca. <laughs> that is cool. Zoom in on that real quick. Furby Chewbacca. Wow. I wonder if it, I wonder if it, I wonder if it does min, mini grunting. I wonder. the R2D2 stuff. Oh, yeah. Well back or the suitcase and is that a backpack? Yes, yeah. And a dress. Oh the mug. I love the mug. That's awesome. Oh, we got some Star Wars attire. And this is looks like the bottom of the thing that the Jawas rode in in the in the fourth or the first one. We were talking about that the other day. The yes. first one that was ever made. Which, which is actually episode four, yeah. Which confuses a lot of people who aren't actually Star Wars fans. And there's the two sons, or so. This is they've done a good job with this area here. And this is the little BB-8 droid thing that she was playing with at the counter. Just kind of spins around and everything. Looks like a lot of fun. We were in Tomorrowland the other day, and where were they at? Why is the signature? Shots in Tomorrowland. the door. This is my sister. It's not quite life-size, but still pretty cool. It makes me think of how I met your mother, how Bonnie had the life-size one. Well done. Lightsaber assortment. Blasters.
one of these things is not like the other. Can you find it? Find Waldo. There it is. <laughs> Metal stone trooper. Storm trooper. Can't talk. And these little masks. It's a bank. Oh, it's a bank. Life size. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cool painting of Han and Chewie. And the storm. Some of the snow monster. From the Empire Strikes Back. So this is a pretty cool shirt. Tall, dark, and evil. Darth Vader here. And we've got the dark side never sleeps. But this is my favorite, besides the, the Darth Vader ears. How to draw Darth Vader. Start with the head and the body. Add a cape, which actually kind of looks like dark, dark helmet from uh, Spaceballs. <laughs> draw the face, gloves, and boots. Add some details and shading and finished. You know, just a few details. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy. Anybody can do it. So remember the uh, umbrella we talked about earlier in the video? We found it, and uh, it doesn't rain anymore, I don't think, or at least it's not raining yeah, today. Yeah, used to stand under it and hold, and it would hold on to it, and it would rain. It's kind of cool. So that's the end of our video. We hope you enjoyed. And remember, for more videos, like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day.